So, in this video today guys, I wanted to give you all an updated video on the best game user settings in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2, as well as showcase important Epic Games launcher commands and config settings, mouse optimizations, Windows optimizations, how to reset your Fortnite config to get the low input delay lobby screen, the best video settings that you should be using right now, and finally at the end I'll showcase the best game user settings. So if this video does help out, please drop a like on the vid, please subscribe to the channel, and as well as that, be sure to use my code in the item shop and when buying that brand new battle pass that'd help me out a ton. I'm also going to be giving away free battle passes in this video so be sure to comment below anything and you will be entered. Now let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Epic game launcher optimizations. What these will do is they'll boost FPS, lower latency and increase download speed for any updates for the game. First things first, open the Epic Games launcher, go to the top right corner, click on your profile right there then go into settings. Inside of here you want to tick the following preferences, you want to make sure to minimize the system trait is turned on, run when computer starts, this is optional but I like to have it turned on, enable cloud saves is very important, you want to have this turned on, desktop notifications, make sure that both of these are turned off or disabled, as when you do get one of these randomly pop up, which they do, this can cause hitches or stutters to your game's FPS, so make sure both of these are disabled. And if you scroll down a little bit more, under manage games, it's very important that you guys have allow installs during gameplay turned off, as this can cause high ping when you are gaming so you want to make sure this is disabled and um, this is optional allow auto updates i myself like to have it turned on and then if you go into fortnite for the category right here you'll get two little drop downs you'll get the auto update fortnite which i like to have turned on and then also additional command line arguments and inside of this guys i've got the following commands which i will have pasted in the description below you've got land play this lowers your ping you've got no splash this disables the splash screen when loading up fortnite and finally you've got use all of available cores, as what this does is it forces all of the cores on your CPU to be used. After you've configured all of your settings just like that, you want to back out, then close it down so it saves. You then want to press Windows key plus R. Inside of here, type in percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again, just like so. Inside of local, you then want to find the Epic Games Launcher by pressing E. There it is, Epic Games Launcher. Open up that open up save, open up config, windows, and then under where it says engine, you want to go ahead and right click on that and press edit. It'll then open up either a blank engine file or it might have some random text. Just delete whatever in there and make sure that it's blank, then paste in the following command. There's a HTTP one and then a portal build patch, which I'll have in the description below. So you guys can just copy and paste them in here. Then once you've done that, press file, press save, and close that down just like so. Mouse optimizations, these will improve mouse accuracy. First things first, head over to your desktop at the bottom left and type in mouse settings, just like so. If you type in mouse, it should appear. At the top right, you want to click on additional mouse options. Inside of here, you firstly want to make sure that your pointer speed is on 6 out of 11 for maximum accuracy, as this is the default sensitivity and it's the one you should be using. And as well as that, you've got enhanced pointer precision. Make sure that this is unchecked, as what this does is it disables mouse acceleration and you do not want to use that. Windows optimizations, what this will do is it'll improve the overall Windows performance. Firstly, you want to head over to your desktop, you want to right click on the start menu at the bottom left, go on to settings, then go under gaming right here and firstly you want to make sure that the Xbox game bar is disabled as this can consume some of your system's performance and it will lower your FPS so you want to make sure this is turned off. While you're in this setting as well, if you go over to the left hand side under where it says game mode, you want to make sure that game mode is turned on as this will optimize your PC so you get more FPS. You also want to head over to your desktop again, bottom left type in graphic settings just like so, click on that option. Then inside of this window you want to make sure that hardware acceleration GPU scheduling is turned on and as well as that underneath you want to make sure you select the games that you mainly play. So as you can see mine's got the Fortnite client EXE right there. Also on your desktop type in background apps just like so, click on that one. Inside the background applications you want to make sure that the option let backgrounds run in the background is disabled so all of these are indeed disabled as what each of these can do when they are running in the background is consume some of your PC's performance and it can decrease your FPS slightly so you want to make sure all of these are disabled in one button just like so. Also on the desktop you want to open up the file explorer once inside of here you want to locate where Fortnite the game itself is installed and mine is on my local C drive just open that 
then you want to open up the Fortnite folder, then the Fortnite game folder, then binaries, then Win64, and then if you scroll down to where the Fortnite client Win64 shipping EXE is, you want to right click on the application itself, go onto properties, then inside the properties file under compatibility, you want to make sure that you tick disable full screen optimizations and this will lock Fortnite into a full screen state which will give you maximum performance and as well as that under where it says change DPI settings click on that and make sure high DPI scaling override is checked under the application option then press ok press apply, press ok again, reset fortnite config, what this will do is it will ensure that you have all the new updated files in the fortnite config itself, to do this just head over to your desktop, press windows key and R, type in percentage sign local app data and percentage sign again, then press F to locate the fortnite game folder and this right here is basically your fortnite config in its entirety, now if you do want to back this up I recommend just copy and paste in it and you'll have a backup and you can then rename it back to normal if you do want to go back but what I'm going to do is completely delete it so when I do open up Fortnite there will be a new one that appears in here and it'll be completely fresh so just go ahead delete it like so and then boom once it's gone you are all good to go and by the way if you can't delete it it's probably because you have the read only option ticked in the properties but as you can see for myself it obviously didn't have that and I could delete it so now what I want to do is close this down I want to then open up Fortnite it'll then ask if you want to find the best settings I recommend declining this option as we're going to optimize them ourselves and once the game has as booted up you should be greeted with this zero delay blue lobby screen now some people do like it and do actually claim that it does increase their performance but a lot of people do think that that is just a placebo effect and they don't like it so if you guys do not like this and want to revert back to the normal one then just follow this tutorial on screen I'll leave a link in the description below best in-game settings what these optimized settings will do is give you an FPS boost which is very needed inside the video tab you firstly want to make sure that the full screen option is enabled as this will give you the lowest input delay possible. Under resolution you can use either 1920 by 1080 as a lot of pros are currently using in this season or you can choose to use a stretched resolution to get more FPS and to get bigger hitboxes. Here are some great ones that you can use on screen right now. Vsync you want to have this turned off. Frame rate limit you can use either unlimited or you can match your FPS to your monitor's hertz as some people do with monitors that have high refresh rates like 360 hertz monitors. If they've got one of them they'll obviously put 360 60 fps in here but a lot of people do choose to use unlimited for the rendering mode i highly recommend using performance lower graphical fidelity as this will make all the textures look a lot worse but it will increase your fps big time under graphics where it says brightness i recommend using 100 percent as i have tried a few different brightness settings this season and i do like this one the most colorblind mode now as you guys know there's four different options and i myself highly recommend off this season as i've tried a few out this season guys and i think off is just the best one right now motion blur i recommend turning this off under where it says graphics quality you want to make sure that all these are set to low you can literally just change the quality presets and it'll do most of them for you and aliasing turn that off uh, 3d resolution you want to make sure that this is on 100 percent or you can actually use 99 percent as some pros do like martos you can find more about his settings in this video on screen i'll leave a link in the description below i'm a cell phone i'm going to use 100 scrolling down you want to make sure that all these settings are on low slash off high resolution textures make sure both of these options right here are turned off as you'll actually save quite a bit of storage and you'll also get a slight fps boost and then for effects and post processing turn these both onto low and then under advanced graphics, a uh, short FPS, this is optional, some like it on, some like it off. Crash debug and turn this off as it doesn't matter. Same with latency markers. But finally under NVIDIA Reflex low latency mode, I recommend turn this on or on on plus boost to get the lowest latency possible. Now depending on your PC, if you do have a medium spec PC, I recommend turn it on. And if you have a high end PC, I recommend using on plus boost. And if you have a low end PC, you might want to turn this off as you could lose some fps but a lot of people should be okay on on just try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section below then after that just click apply then restart your game and you should be all good to go fortnite config optimizations now it's time to optimize our config via going onto the windows desktop pressing windows key plus r typing in percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again then find the fortnite game config that we recently reset open up that open up saved open up config, open up windows client and then in here is our config. Now before you open this double check in the properties 
that the read only is unchecked it should be if you did reset your config once you've done that go back on it right click click on edit then inside of here is our fresh fortnite config now i'm going to slowly scroll through this and actually correct anything that i see that looks a bit out of line or anything we can actually optimize it's very important that you've got all your illuminations on zero uh, if any of them are on one make sure they're on a zero that will actually turn them off in itself and scrolling down a little bit more i'm looking for any brand new commands as fortnite can sometimes add these into the new seasons and we don't want to miss anything scrolling down a little bit more i can't really see anything new please correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below but all of these do look good uh here under resolution obviously this is where you change your resolution to get a stretched resolution if you guys do want to use a stretched resolution i recommend checking out this tutorial on screen you'll get a ton of benefits from using a stretched res so i would recommend it if you are on a low end to medium end pc scrolling down a little bit more we've got frame rate limit now you can actually manually uh, set up a frame rate limit in here to actually match your monitor's hertz some people recommend um, using a frame rate limit of 3 fps under your monitor's uh, refresh rate but you can obviously change it in here if you would like to but scrolling down a little bit more you want to make sure under scalability groups that resolution is on 100 and all these are on zero and then under the chat settings uh, this is getting to the bottom all of these look pretty solid. So that right there, guys, is the best game user settings to use in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. Hopefully this video helped out. If it did, feel free to drop a like on it, drop a sub on the channel, and use my code in the item shop when you do buy anything in there, or when you do buy that brand new Battle Pass, as that'll help me out a ton. 